from a nitrogen perspective then on more in most situations we're talking about taking uh, or applying rather a bag of urea per acre or its equivalent in around now if it hasn't gone out already now is the time to do it ground conditions are picking up grass growth rate is starting to rise it's typically around 20 kilos on the grass tender pasture based program this week so grass growth rate is improving now is the time to apply urea ideally we'd apply uh, protected urea to the fields at this stage the only exception would be where phosphate and potash levels in the soil are low at index 1 or index 2 and assuming the nutrient management plan or the nutrient management budget allows you to do it on those situations I'd apply two to two and a half bags of 18 612 per acre to give the grass growth a boost not just in terms of nitrogen but also in terms of P and K. Now is a really good time to apply cattle slurry as well and the fields you target cattle slurry for at this time of the year are fields that are being closed up for silage or on paddocks that are suitable for grazing but where bale silage has or will be taken off it in the coming grazing season. And if you're going to apply cattle slurry, uh, I'd recommend that you use some of the low emission slurry spreading uh, methods, such as the dribble bar or the trailing shoe, because this will do two things. Number one, if it's going to be, uh, the grass that it's applied to is going to be conserved as silage, it will reduce the contamination of that grass, or if it's going to be grazed in the next rotation, it'll reduce the spoilage or rejection rate of that grass by the cows.